Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. Let's continue on our Jewish Kazarian playthrough campaign. So last episode, we just started a war to take over Lower Volga from the Bulgars. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, that's just funny to me. And last episode, we also made this guy my tributary. So, kind of awesome. I think he has a lot of troops. He doesn't like me, but um, he will answer my call to war. <laughs> Poor guy. So I think that's going to be the strategy for playing as a horse lord. Um, it would be to kind of like make a lot of people my tributary. And just kind of like plow through everything basically whatever land I don't want just make them my tributary and I think that's kind of the solution let's fight their army so I would take a river crossing penalty to get to perm but I do have almost double their troop size they're coming into Bulgar though oh shit okay all right. Okay, good. It's because I got there way before um, my vassals did because I have that... Um... Well, I don't know what is closed. Great, 100%. It's because I have the organizer trait and my vassals don't. And technically, even though they're in the war with me, um, it, they don't count as being in my uh, army. So, all oh, right, I keep forgetting. That's not how I give away land is... Uh... Horse Lord, come on, man. Come on. Just come on. Okay. Uh, the Banana Clan can have Lower Volga. Fantastic. And now I set my sights on the Cumanians. They don't have a ton of troops right now, so that might be a good time to strike. Inder. Glory Hound. You guys have another war? What war are they referring to? What war are you mired in? What? I see you have another war that's more important to you, but what war? I don't see anything. Yeah, we're going after Ender and there's no nothing you can say about it. Sorry dudes. Alright. Um so my wife is dead. It's unfortunate. My the son that I intended is my uh, heir now, which is fantastic. Let's actually can I recall you to court? No. Okay, so you don't you must have no standing troops. Okay, fair enough. Let's make someone who likes me my advisor, so that I can get another. Loyalist. Marry someone. Who, though? Who shall I marry? It would be nice to have a little bit more stewardship, I think. Um, just gonna generate more coin. Although, she is a good marshal and a good... Eh, not a good steward, but not the worst steward in the world either. Whereas the other character is the worst marshal in the world ever. Get more prestige. And you are honoring your call to war. Fantastic. I should really actually, after this, um, kind of like let my manpower restore because that is abysmal. Holy crap. Young Zebulun has finished his education in the ways of war. I've noticed with pride that he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Oh man. You're almost... Uh, no, this other son has better martial. Because he has better stewardship. Which would have been good. But no. Son, I eagerly, eagerly await your return. That's gonna be a lot of a, uh, a lot of land to cross. A Jewish exile fleeing persecution elsewhere in Europe has showed up at your court, 
His time spent abroad has gifted him with many connections, and all by and by all accounts, he's an able diplomat. He'll make a fine chancellor. Fantastic. Let's take all the sand from him. Oh, that's where your troops are, eh? Interesting. Interesting. I lost someone, I guess? My court chaplain? Cool. Yeah, you know what? You can be my court chaplain. Let's... Yeah, let's actually make my way back, because I think they're kind of going after my, um... My allies there, or my vassals, rather. Can I catch you in Turgay? April 7th. Yep, I'll catch you there. Which is great. It's step, so I won't have any, um, terrain penalty against me. This will be really touch and go, because we're almost matched in terms of, um, troop size. But... We turned out to be... Better. Just better. Yep, you can be... In my... You can lead my troops. So let's leave it to him. Okay, no, no, he's the direct leader. Be that, and I'll be on the side. Fantastic. And that's that war won. Awesome. So we do, do seem to be kind of steamrolling through um, through these guys a fair bit. I'm hoping it won't stay too easy, but we'll see. We shall see. So I can celebrate Passover again. Fantastic. I'll read this out, just, just for the sake of it. More than 2,000 years ago, God aided the children of Israel in their escape from slavery by inflicting 10 plagues upon ancient Egypt. The last of these saw a spirit of the Lord slay every firstborn in Egypt by Passover. Jewish homes marked the blood of slaughter, a slaughtered lamb. This festival celebrates the return of freedom to enslave Jewish people. So last episode, I did say it may have been a little harsh to kill every firstborn, but eh, I'm always opposed to killing babies. That's why, but I mean, I don't really know what happened historically. So maybe the Egyptians did something much worse. But then again, I do also prescribe to the uh, belief that, you know, an eye for an eye makes the world blind and all that stuff. Anyways, the Seder dinner has begun, as is traditional on the first night of the Passover. Matzo flatbread is consumed in liberal amounts together with bitter maror herbs. Everyone is required to drink four cups of wine, each at a specific point during the Seder as the story of the exodus from Egypt is retold and discussed. Pass the matzo, please. For some time now, my wife has been complaining about her painful joints. Apparently, they frequently swell up, becoming hot and aching for several hours. I pray to God that she will recover. Seems a little... <laughs> oh, she has gout, that's why. It's unfortunate. The say it lasts well into the night, but all good things must end. Your vassals return home to celebrate the rest of Passover, but... Most seem to agree that the Seder dinner was well worth the trip. Awesome. And she has been treated well. Fantastic. So I was compensating my doctor. Who can I make my... Chancellor? Anyone? Uh, I, I don't want the guy with a three to be the chancellor so I'll make you chancellor and instead appoint my this guy as the rabbi let's improve improve clan sentiment with whosoever clan is not wait what okay not no not him oh it's the biohazard clan Alright, cool, go ahead. Can I fight these guys yet? No, I can't. Um, and the reason I, why I'm not fighting the tribal lords as much as I would like to is because I'm scared that they might raise a tribal army and just crush me like they almost did last side. Let's go after him though. He seems weak enough to not be able to raise a fuss. Oh, I love that Armenian duduk music. I love it. I don't know what it is, it's just... I just love it. 
I don't know what else to say about it. Great, come to my aid. I will most likely not need you. But it'd be nice to blame blame uh, blame it on you guys if things go wrong. And then let's not actually go there directly. Let's. I, I don't think we need to, considering the enormous um, uh, advantage I have in troop size alone. But just in case, young Buzir has finished his education in the ways of war. I know it's with pride he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Man, I have a lot of children who would like brilliant strategist. <laughs> it's awesome. Let's get there and kill some people! Let's pillage that village! Woo! Fantastic. That village has been pillaged. Not the worst county in the world, I guess. Your horde has looted, ravaged, and pillaged, pillaged and plundered. Nizni, Novgorod, to such a degree that, that a holding in the county has been completely devastated. All that is left is a smattering of rubble among our new grazing lands. Our horses will surely like it here. We've got the rubble-eating horses of Kazaria. It's it's like the um, the carnivorous horses of Thrace, the Thracian horses, but instead it's, um, you know, they're rubble-eating. So we're gonna use this um, Rebellion is an opportunity to claim Maniach. It shouldn't be too difficult. It is said that your son Masane has become a very well, a very energetic and tenacious mercenary leader. He has consumption! No! Okay, come back! Come back and come back to court so that we can treat you! Don't die from consumption, please! You are the chosen one! Your horde swarms into the city's uh, holding of Maniach tribe. As the walls crumble and fall, they are intent on plundering but won't go on ahead unless you, their Kagan, give them permission to do so. Let's do it. Bring me my money. So I guess that's the... Yeah, that's a trade company thing. Let's siege the rest of their land there. And they are surrendering. Fantastic. Absolutely lovely. Let's pillage that village once more. Oh, wait. Oh, we've got more pillaging. Okay, more to pillage, I mean. Uh, should I... Do, do I really want seven clans, though? I feel like... Maybe it's too much? I don't know. I don't know. Seven clans might be overreaching a little bit. So I'm gonna hold money itch because it's another um, uh, trade route with a spot. And I'll give away Nizni Novgorod. I don't know what I was looking for just now. Okay, let's give it to you. You can take... Mm, why does this also have Novgorod in it? Does Novgorod need something? Like, it's is it not a name? I guess. Like, I know if you've, you know, like, Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, um, Kazakhstan. So apparently Stan in, I think it's originally Farsi. It means, uh, place. Cool story, right? Yeah, cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. Come on, man. So I'm wondering if Novgorod means something similar, but I don't know. Guess I'll never know. Oh wow. Okay, so you guys are the new Magyar, which may have been a bad idea for you guys, considering that uh, I can, I can attack you. I'll take Lower Dawn, which is a um, it's a lower quality uh, um, Donbury kind of thing from. You know, Japanese restaurants. Your horde is looted and pillaged and great. And more rubble to feed to my horses.
Deshti Kipchak, I believe, is where they're headed, but... No, they're headed somewhere else. Never mind. Seed your lands. Over from there, because... I wish there was a simple terrain map mode in, um... In Crusader Kings 4 as it as there is in uh, EU 4. It's actually really handy, because then you can see which, um... Which uh, provinces have uh, crossing river crossing penalties? What the heck? What? Weren't you guys just part of my land? What the crap, dude? What the crap? Uh, I don't know what that's about. I don't know why you suddenly defected. Because I swear you were part of my land. Yeah, I, I thought so. I knew I was gonna have to give away a lower dawn. Uh, let's give it to you. I don't actually know if I um, should... Um, create more clans or not. But yeah, let's, uh, let's give it to him. Take lower dawn. Although, maybe I'll give it to him and then he will potentially... Yeah, because I can always... I can seize... I can, um... Ask the largest clan to split their... Crap, right? Wait, what? Oh, is it these guys? That have been the most populous? Ah, shit, burglar. Whatever. Yeah, let's go over that way. With dangerous faction, and he alone... Has a lot of troops that you can... Used to try to overthrow me. Fantastic. Move over to Kopior. Take that shit for myself. And you done, son. You done. Let's go back to Till, and I think I'll probably need to regroup a little bit because my manpower is, is quite bad still. Uh. Okay, so can I make another trade post? Is that what's what it's telling me? I. Cannot make another trade post. Shame. Yeah, as I expected, they created a trade post there. Hmm. So upgrading my yam here won't give me another trade post. But... Anyways, let's, let's see what else you can make. So you need writing contests and... Arag producers. Arag, I believe, is horse milk... Fermented into alcohol, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, sure, let's get a horse breeder. Hmm... The court rabbi... Well, that's... it's fine. Rabbi don't really do much in my realm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Can make someone who's better at stewardship my new steward. Except my awesome spy master is still alive, so we'll just hold off on that for the time being. You, what happened to your land? Are you there by yourself? Which, yep, not a good thing for you, my friend. Do you have a de jure liege? You do not, so we'll take over your crap as well. Do this, guys. Oh my God! I, I said I, I said let's wait and uh, recuperate, and then I immediately <laughs> declared another war. Oh, jeez, I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh well, should be an easy war. In fact, I might not even need to get involved. Someone became a detached priest. I don't care. What? Oh, because they built a fort there. Okay. Reports have reached us that traders and travelers are being harassed by raiders in your lands of Atiru. Isn't that me? <laughs> I mean, aren't we the raiders and whatnot? Send my marshal. I don't want to deal with it myself. 
My marshal has ar arrives bruised and alone from his venture to drive away the raiders. Unfortunately, he brings news that he has been un unable to fight off the raiders from our lands. Annoying pests. So I guess I can't really do anything about it. Fair enough. All right, so you have lost. Cool, cool, cool. Let's pillage that village. Which now means I need to give away more land. Hmm. Let's give it to... You, the spider. Pronsk, I guess. Yeah, let's give Pronsk to you. Pronsk. Yeah. Because who's the most populous? It's these guys right now. Hmm. Whatever. Not a problem. Alright. Let's take that over. And with that... Fantastic. More villages to pillage. I love it. And now we can make more upgrades, which is always lovely. Should I upgrade my sheep? Hmm. Let's see actually if I can... Do my attacks. Hmm. Maybe I'll go with the population growth and the other thing. I forget what the other bonus is. Not re I'm really not that careful with reading. <laughs> okay, so Coloma. Let's give it to you guys. Columna, rather. My bad. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Do I want to take you? Hmm. So the new Magyar are now blocking me from being able to attack the Bulgarians. But I can still subjugate them, and I'm really curious about this. Nomads can subjugate non-nomadic realms once in their lifetime, so if we declare the war, we lose a whole bunch of prestige, which I'm assuming we're just paying for the war by for uh, with prestige. If we win, we get piety, they lose piety, they lose prestige, and we subjugate Bulgaria. What does that mean, though, by subjugate? Does that mean he becomes my liege? My uh, vassal? Or... I guess that's it? Maybe? I don't know. But we have a new development here. This is no longer Karen land. This belongs to another horse lord who deserves to have his shit taken away from him. Yep. I need to really just calm the hell down. And seriously, let my max power recover so that I can recruit more troops. I'm doing a terrible job of it. Uh, yeah, let's recruit some more people here. Just need a little bit more money to get another heavy vanguard, which would be fantastic if I, if I could. But in case I can't, it's fine. Just go with a light vanguard. That should be a considerable boost to my... Whoa! How did you become... Are you still my... Oh, okay, so... I think that how the tributary thing works is... It passes down from my tributaries... Um, it passes down my tributaries line... But... My children don't inherit the uh, relationship. I think that's how it works. Go over to... Ender and then down to Kangli. So I think I should avoid river crossing penalty. From there, I'll pretend to go to Tyru and then stop him and then go back down to Kangli. Yeah, if you want to join in on the fight, I won't stop you, buddy. And I'm bankrupt now. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. And let's. Let's do it. Awesome. More land for me, which is great. 
Cumania, can I attack you again? I cannot because I'm bankrupt. And I appear to continue to be bankrupt. Maybe because I was an idiot and I decided to uh, recruit while I wasn't doing amazingly well. Ah well, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. See, it's improving. No, it's not. I, I don't know why it keeps fluctuating like that. Very strange. Now let's take a look at our lands and we can actually subjugate Bulgaria again. Okay. Magyars are almost done. Now if I take over Bulgaria, here's the thing. Mercenary leaders frequently have to deal with people of foreign cultures and religions. Now people are saying that your son, Masana, has developed a particular interest in the Manichean ways. He has gained sympathy for Zoroastrianism. Uh, son, can you come back, please? Can you? Stop? Just come back, please? No? He's on contract. The Duchy of Kumul. Fighting over here. With your 82 hired troops. Is that my son and his measly group of people? That's so funny. Can I give him more troops? I don't know how to do that. But let's actually just take it easy. And even if we see an opportunistic uh, war pop up, or uh, an opportunity to for, for a war pop up, let's just take it easy and not. So tempting though, it's so tempting! Mm, do I really need manpower right now? Do I really need it? Is it all that necessary? I'm not broke. Uh, now I'm broke, okay. So that choice has been made for me. I was... I, I faffed around too much. The trade route from Maniich is in dire need of new pack animals and the equipment to be able to continue bringing goods to our, to our realm. Uh, sure, let's spend gold that I don't have and go farther into debt. Which is always fun. And I lost my spy master. That's more unfortunate. Uh, yeah, you're an angry man. You can be my spy master. And then I'll send you to the most dangerous place in the world, Constantinople. Constantly rife with disease and all that shit, and ah, uh, he was actually a good, um, good commander. Damn it! How can I rely on my generals when their understanding of warfare is so lacking compared to my own? I could teach Khan Buzzer a thing or two. He is now an organizer, just like me. So. Yeah, I need my balance to restore. My wife has asked me to get rid of one of my courtiers whom she finds mighty annoying. On one hand, she might not be happy if I refuse a request, but if I fire the annoying man, maybe people will feel my wife has too much influence over my actions. Uh, no, I'm not gonna fire my rabbi, alright? I'm sure there's something against that. It's so tempting. Oh, I can't subjugate them right now? Oh, because I'm bankrupt. Right, of course. How could I forget? I do find that the, um... The Christian... Like... Like, Jewish and... Um, Catholic and, uh, Orthodox... Like, their notice- notifications? It's a little dip- dip- more difficult for me to kind of see what- what it actually is. Because of the whole stained glass motif. Your vassal is arguing with his wife. She seems quite upset and they are almost screaming at each other. They don't even notice that you are watching them. Like a pervert. I should intervene. Like a pervert. Khan Buzzer was upset that I interrupted a private discussion. He wanted me to stay out of their business in the future. Ah. Oh, fine. Was he insulted? No, I was insulted with him. Right, okay, got it. Are you raiding me? The band of highway robbers has become more and more audacious, plundering more towns and settlements for every day. What? 
Marshall has my marshal has proposed to lead an attack personally to eradicate them from the province. Let's give him more than enough. That should be should be good. Unused manpower, okay. And I lost my court chaplain. Probably just really old. Let's get you to research. Now all my cons are the council. <laughs> Alright, so that money noise means that I uh, my trade posts are back online. No, just not. Or did it just go away as I uh, as I looked? Probably. An honorable mention. My trusted chancellor reports success from the clan of Jabdertim. Jabdertim? Their elders now like the bull in it a lot better. Great. It only took you like five million years. Let's get my son, who's not my heir, to be my to be commander. My son has spent his hard time on wealth, on attracting and recruiting more soldiers for his mercenary band. Great. Um, can you please come home? Thank you. Yeah, I don't want you like dying or anything stupid like that. Which is why I recalled you. Uh, you could have a quick wife, but you'll have to wait six years for that, so let's not. Let's just get you this wife with cancer. Hope that she survives. And I'm broke again. Maybe I need to be looting. Maybe that's what I should be doing. So yeah, let's, let's loot. Let's loot and pillage, and I can't loot and pillage that. I guess it's already been looted and pillaged. And you want to... Who the heck are you and where are you from? Oh, you're from Cumania. Interesting. Hmm. No. Because I want your lands. Maybe not right now. But in the future. I will want your lands. And I want for nothing. Oh, hello. I can't because I'm currently in your lands. Actually, let's uh, seize that down and then back. And then... You know, let's take your shit from you. Fantastic. Let's call in my allies. The screen is getting a little claustrophobic. And of course, I'm looting still, so let's siege instead. Great. Move down to Kasogia. Do it before they lose! Your horde swarms the holdings of Kasogia tribe. As the walls crumble and fall, they are intent on plundering, but won't go ahead unless you, their Kagan, give them permission to do so. Bring back the spoils to me and we will divide them between us. And that's that war over. Fantastic. While we're at it, you we might as well take over... All this crap, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. I know you guys are my former allies, but that's, uh... Sorry, man, you're kind of shit out of luck there. Let's call in my... Vassals. Let's pillage that village. And we'll need to give away land again. Kopiar. That should be perfect. I now have enough space for eight clans, but I'll hold off on it for now. Um, because I don't know how difficult it's going to be to manage like a million tribes. See you down, and we are onto the temple. See that down too. You horde swarm into the holdings of. Our kids, as the walls crumble and fall, they are intent on plundering, but won't go ahead unless you, their Kagan, give them permission to do so. 
Let's do it. More money. More money is always best money. And we won. Fantastic. Pillage more holdings, and I need to give away more lands. Ah, jeez. Hmm. What do I do? What strategy is best? I mean, if you ask me what is best in life, I could answer you, but... I don't know if I know the answer to this. So they're all at five, which is decent. Maybe I should... Yeah, I'll make another clan. That's only heard in morning. What the shit? What are you talking about, son? Your horde has ravaged and looted and created more rubble with which to feed our horses. Someone has become a naive appraiser. Appeaser, not appraiser. I always make that mistake. But wow, we are well out of time. I do apologize for going a few minutes over. But um, we'll leave it off here and come back again in the next episode. So far, things are going well. And I'll look into what I, the whole subjugation thing actually does. So thank you very much for watching and have a good breakfast.